How are you doing with those curved paths? They're, they're kind of tricky, aren't they? But again, just spend some time with it, keep at it, and you'll definitely become a, a pen tool master. Now, the last type of path that I want to show you is something called a combo path or a combination path. So you saw how to create straight paths by single clicking earlier on. You've seen how to create curved paths by clicking and dragging. And we saw that in the last two exercises. This exercise makes use of both straight and curved segments. That's why they're called combination paths. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zoom in on my exercise file here and I'll pan down towards the bottom. And here's what we have. This is what we're talking about where we have a straight segment followed by a curved segment, followed by a straight segment, or something like this, where we have two curved segments there. And what's cool here is we actually get into a little bit of path manipulation, which is kind of fun. So what I'm gonna do here is, I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit more so you can see what I'm doing here. I'm gonna start off with this first guy here. Now, if this looks intimidating, let me kind of walk you through this. Again, I'll walk you through the motions before we actually do this here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna single click on number one and then single click on number two because that's a straight segment that I want. And then what I'm gonna do, and this is where it gets a little wacky, this is where it gets different. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click and drag on number two and I'm gonna drag up to the red beach ball. In other words, I'm gonna pull a direction line out of the number two anchor point, if that makes sense. And then I'll bring my cursor over to number three and I'll click and drag down. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna knock off one direction line. And there's a couple of different ways to do that. I'll show you how to do that. And then we'll simply single click on number four to finish off that straight segment. Sound like fun? All right, here's what we're gonna do. Hopefully you're with me here. Okay, single click on number one right? We're creating a straight path segment, so it's a single click there. And then what I'll do is I'll single click on number two, and there I get my perfectly straight line, right? I suppose I could have shift clicked it on number two, by the way, to get a perfectly straight line, but in any regard, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my pen nib right over top of the number two anchor point, and what I'm going to do is click and drag up to the red beach ball, and lo and behold, I get a direction line, right? Okay, so I'm gonna bring this guy up to the red beach ball, something like this. Okay, great, hopefully you're still with me here. Okay, now down to number three. Now, I want my curve, I want this arc to curve upwards, right? That's why we clicked and dragged up for number two. So for number three, I know that I have to click and drag in the opposite direction, right? So let's click and drag down to the blue beach ball, something like that. Okay. Awesome stuff. Now, if I single click on number four at this point, what I'm gonna get is a curve that kind of arcs downward, right? So what I wanna do is I actually wanna knock this second direction line or this bottom direction line off of number three. I want a direction line on the top to give me that curve, but I don't want one on the bottom. This is probably the most confusing part here. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna hold down the Option key here on the Mac or the Alt key on the Windows side and bring your cursor right over top of the, there's sort of a dot there on the end of the direction line. And notice what happens to your cursor, by the way. It turns into sort of a, like a pie wedge icon. Now what I want you to do is click and drag on that direction line. See, we've kind of broken our teeter-totter now. It's no longer swaying back and forth on both sides, just on the bottom. And I'm gonna drag this guy in to the number three anchor point, okay? Now, do you wanna see that again? That's a little confusing, isn't it? So I'm just gonna undo that, Command Z or Control Z. If I just bring my cursor down to the bottom of the direction line, and maybe I hold down Command or something, and I click and drag on this guy, see what happens to the top half of the direction line? It's affecting it, right? Again, it's like a teeter-totter. It's swaying back and forth. Well, I wanna break the teeter-totter, and I'm gonna do that by holding down Option or Alt over on the PC side, and then when I get my little pie wedge cursor, I'm gonna click and drag, and I've broken that teeter-totter now. I'm gonna drag that right into the number three anchor point, something like that, right? Okay, perfect. And then over to number four and single click. Did you get all that? <laughs> okay. Now, that's a little bit confusing, isn't it? So I'm going to show you another quick technique for pulling off the same, we're going to get the same result, 
but maybe it's a little bit simpler for you. Here's what I'm gonna do. Hold down Control or hold down Command if you're on the Mac. And what I wanna do is I wanna select all of the anchor points. So I'm just gonna bring my cursor up and to the left of the first step there, number one, and I'm gonna click and drag all the way across, something like this, and then just hit Delete. And what that does is that deletes all of your anchor points and paths. And I'm gonna do this exercise for you one more time and I'm gonna do it a little bit faster and I'm gonna show you a faster technique because again, it's that number three step that usually messes people up, right? So number one, single click. Number two, single click. Number two, click and drag up to the red beach ball. Number three, click and drag down to the blue beach ball. Okay, here's the faster technique. It still involves holding down the Option key or the Alt key, but rather than dragging on this, sort of the, the end of this anchor point, or I'm sorry, the end of this direction line, I should say, what I'm gonna do is bring my cursor over top of the number three anchor point, and notice right beside my pen nib, right beside my cursor, I see a little pie wedge. Now, I'm gonna single click, that knocks off the bottom direction line. It's gone, it's no longer there and then I'll single click on number four. So maybe you find that a little bit easier. So holding down option or holding down alt and then single clicking on the number three anchor point. Okay, great. Controller command deselect by clicking inside some white space. Let's go after the last guy here. This guy's probably the toughest out of all of these and we'll see how to pull this guy off in the next exercise.